What is up guys, it's your boy Fischl back here with another video, hopefully, potentially. In today's video, we're gonna be going to a pond that was pretty high the last time I was here. Uh, the deepest this pond gets is like several feet deep, but I actually have lived by this area my whole life. It's right by where my dad works, and uh, I had no idea this was here. This It's kind of like a wetlands pond, but I went here once and I actually caught fish here, and ever since then I haven't caught anything, so hopefully we catch something on camera. I know of at least, I think, two species that are in this body of water, but we're gonna see if there's anything else in here. And uh, right now, as you can see, the ground's dry. Last time I was here, I've been here twice since I started my channel, but last time I was here, water was high. It wasn't as muddy, but uh, it was all muddy through here. And so you couldn't even really walk down there without getting your shoes all muddy. Obviously now it's all overgrown and dried up, but there's actually, there's one pond over here and there's like a tiny pond that's like loaded with bullfrogs. So I've tried to come down here and catch bullfrogs too on a frog. But the pond that we're going to is just right over there through those bushes. I got loads of stuff with me. I got all my mystery tackle box lures from the last, I think February through April at least. But normally, now I wouldn't even have thought people would have fished this pond because like I said, I found it on Google Maps or Google Earth. I've been here at times where during the summer about this time of year, it's so overfished that you really can't catch any fish because there's been too many people fishing here. Oh, are those fish? I'm seeing like boils near the beginning of the water. I will tell you one thing, you guys will get to see it just cause you see this white line right here, pretty white color. It's gonna be green after this, this pond is disgusting. But uh, right now, this is what she looks like. Not very big. Actually, that whole channel over there leads to another tiny pond. It's actually closed off, but typically when I was here this time of year last year, all the fish were out in the middle, but it looks like it's even lower than ever, probably because of the heat wave and the drought that we had. We're gonna see if there's any fish though. So the first good sign for today is that I'm seeing a ton of boils out here. So that means there's probably more fish than the last time I fished here. Uh, hopefully they're biting. You'd think it wouldn't be too hard to catch them in an area this small, but you know, last time I went here, it was, it was nothing, not even a bite. But we also have, we're gonna throw around some trout lures. Like I said, I just put a golden red Panther Martin on for now. If that doesn't work, I can switch to Senkos and other things. I actually see something swimming out there. I don't know what it is. I think I just cast it right on a fish. The only time I came down here with worms uh, I was actually getting a lot of hits on them, but you know, live bait might actually be the deal, if nothing else. But usually when I come to this pond, I try every single thing in my tackle box pretty much and don't get a hit on anything. Last time what did it for me, I believe was a gold Thomas lure or a gold Panther Martin. It was one of the two I had caught. The only time I caught fish here, all three of them caught were on that. Well, that was a bump, I think. Let me know if you guys want me to come back here with live bait, do like a worm challenge. So I think that might be the only thing that might get these fish if they don't bite on anything else, but it's a little early. And take a couple more casts and then move over there, which is actually where I caught those fish that one time. Saw a fish jump right behind where I casted. You can already tell it's loaded with fish in here and the pond is so small, you would think they'd be hungry for anything that hits. And like right when it hits the water, you catch a fish, but it doesn't seem to be like that. To be fair though, the only time I've caught fish here was like early to mid May. And so, you know, that could be the only time they're biting. I would figure that they would typically spawn later in this pond because it's a smaller body of water. So maybe they didn't even spawn until June, but you would still think there'd be some active fish in early July. All right, guys, it's two weeks later. Uh, we're gonna try to finish up this pond video. We're gonna be getting a couple dozen worms and I'm gonna get two separate ones because I need to use these the rest of the weekend and I don't want them to die. Little pro tip here. Usually if you grab the ones in the back, I've heard those are the most fresh, which makes sense. Here's a dozen. I don't see anything in there, so we're gonna put this one back. Now, they should be good. Sorry for the bad camera angles I'm trying to film this, but quick little vlog here. We're gonna get these and check out of here and go up to that pond. All right, guys, we are back at the pond. As you can see, it's actually dropped several feet in a couple weeks, which isn't too surprising, but uh, we got our worms. We're gonna put one of those on and fish this for a while. If we don't get anything, we're gonna try that side over there and maybe that side, and then we're gonna leave. I just want to, wanted to wrap up this video, catch some fish here. But yeah, it's actually dropped quite a bit. Notice how you can see that part of the log that sticks out. That wasn't there last time. And again, it's been exactly two weeks since I've been here. Again, I just want to catch something out of here. I'm really not 100% entirely sure what's in here. I know there's bass and I believe there could be carp. But at this point, I just want to catch something. This water's warm and gross. All right, cast number one. I, I'm hoping I don't have too much leader. 
but I think it should be fine if I cast out near the middle. No way, guys. We moved over to the small pond and there's actually bluegill in here. I had no idea. That's our first catch in a while. Didn't expect to catch anything here, but threw it in instantly and caught this guy. There he goes. We're gonna see if there's anything else in here. Nice. We're getting our revenge even though it's on tiny fish. I'll take it. Must be one of the only few fish in here would be my guess. Even if it's just a little bluegill like that, you know, you gotta take fish like that sometimes because I really was thinking I wasn't gonna catch anything. And to be honest, <laughs> it's almost looking like that was the only fish in this pool because I'm not getting anything else. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. Holy crap, there's some bigger ones. How did I not know about this pond? Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my gosh. Look at this giant crawdad I caught. Oh, oh my gosh, dude, that's huge. For a tiny little pond? What the heck? I was wondering why my bobber wasn't going all the way down. That's crazy. I should have been fishing here the whole time. I'm getting more action in this tiny little pond right here and then the whole entire pond system over there. So. We know there's bullfrogs, crawdads, and bluegill in this pond, which I did not think there were crawdads and bluegills. I'm gonna have to go back and get my stuff and uh, get my worms and come back here. And then I'm gonna try probably that pond over there, maybe the far pond. I think I've already been here a while, so I don't wanna stay here terribly long, but if I start catching fish, it'll make the trip worth it. There's a school of bluegill in here and they just keep going back and forth. I'm really not sure where they went. I saw them go left. They're, oh, there they are, there they are. You guys can't see them, but they keep circling around the outer edges of the pond. I think I fooled the first one and now they don't want to eat. Did this guy really just, the crawdad just grabbed onto my line and it made me think I was getting a fish. Let's see if I can cast ahead of him without spooking. Some of those guys are big too. There they are. Come on, somebody take it, somebody take it. It's like you guys live in a pond this small and you're not even hungry. I think there'd be like pretty much no food in here, but Apparently it's a thriving ecosystem. Dude, that crawdad is huge. I know you guys probably can't see it, but he's just sitting down there snapping at minnows. That thing is big, dude. Oh, there's one. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? He freaking spit it out. So I accidentally just discovered another pond and uh, it's slightly bigger than that one over there. It's slightly bigger than that one I just fished and didn't film any because it sucked, but looks like this pond is loaded with stuff too. I'm not sure if they're bluegill or what. It also looks like somebody made a dock down there too. So I guess that makes it technically five ponds around here. Oh, I just had something hammer it. I don't know what that was. See, the crazy thing is I want to get over to that dock and see if I can fish off of that, but this could honestly be one of the best ponds and I didn't even know it was here. There could not only be more bluegill in here, there could be bass, uh, maybe even carp. I think it would be really awesome if these ponds had crappie in them, but I don't see that happening. Just got another hit, uh, almost committed fully, but he didn't. We're gonna leave it out there and see what happens. Oh, look at that, look at that. Come on, just sink that bobber, dude. Come on, he's taking it. All right, stop playing and just eat it, man. Oh, dude, there he is. Oh, look at that guy, whoa, almost slid. There's a bigger bluegill. Still not big, but you know, for these little ponds, that's not a bad one. Nice, let's catch another one. That took way too long. That took like at least five minutes, but I'll take it. Now that there's bluegill in here, this could be a good thing, because oftentimes when you go to ponds and the bass won't bite, sometimes the only things that will work are live bait, preferably live bluegill. So let me know if you guys want me to come back here and uh, throw on a bluegill, try to catch a bass. Actually, that might be illegal in Oregon, I'll have to check, but it shouldn't be. Update, uh, that little dock is not actually a dock and it looks like uh, somebody, like a hillbilly from Tennessee made that because I tried to step on it and it like snapped in half. Probably gonna fish this pond for a little while. I don't have much of a piece of worm left, so I might have to get another one. But after, oh, there's a, there's a bite. But after that, we're probably gonna hit that small pond where the rest of my stuff is real quick one last time and then we might call this a video. I was hoping to catch bigger fish than this and uh, potentially more, but I'll take it. It's all part of the mystery pond challenge. Oh, look at that. Come on. And there's just so many bluegill out here, it's crazy. There's like hundreds just in this little pond. I've never even seen this pond before. I've been coming here for almost a year and a half. Oh, dude, I had a fish, but my reel was like, I had too much slack. 
I finally adjusted the, uh, the length of the bobber a bit, which has helped. I just like, I really wish there was something other than bluegill in here. Oh, look at that. But I'll take it. Like I said, the whole mission was to catch fish out of one of these ponds on live bait since we couldn't catch anything on anything else. And uh, I'll consider this a success. Not exactly a top quality video, but you can't always control fishing sometimes. Literally the bobber was all the way down and I could have reeled and I didn't. And somehow the fish got off. I want to see one of those things just run with the bobber and be a bass or something. Oh. I don't know how much of this you guys can see, but the takedowns are gnarly sometimes for bluegill. I just had a nice takedown and didn't even reel it because I was trying to turn the camera on, but there he is. I think that's probably the second biggest of the day. Just a little guy, but I think uh, with that, I'm going to go back and grab my stuff and probably, probably leave. Stop it. little you know three inch fish well that's three for the video so far obviously i should be catching more but i think i figured out why i think probably part of the reason why is uh, i think i have too big of a hook so the hookup ratio isn't as good i'm gonna leave it out here for probably 30 more seconds and if i don't get anything then uh it's time to go back and uh, see what's going on honestly i would bet i'd be willing to bet that there's probably some pretty nice sized bluegills in here because they have this much you know, even though it's a small pond, that's a lot of room to forage and get food if you're a small fish. Well, there's another one. Oh, that's bigger. Oh, dude. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Dude, that's a freaking tank for this little pond. Oh my gosh. Like you never catch bluegill like this out of Fern Ridge. That's nutty. That's one of the pancakes I've been seeing out there. I thought it was a bass the way it pulled. It just like took it and just straight went down. This little state record bluegill right there. Not really. Dude, that was a pig. Now I wish I had my worms with me, but now I gotta go back. Well, that was a great way to end this little video here. I honestly don't even know if I caught a bluegill that big in Oregon. And that wasn't huge, but that was a fat, like thick fish. I hope you guys saw that. I'm gonna make my way back, try to get through these trees that I came through and try not to slide around in the mud and die. But I probably will come back to this pond at some point to see if there's any really big gills in here. Back to this pond where our stuff is and it looks like something's grabbing it. I would, if I had to guess, I would think it'd maybe be a crawdad, but it might be a fish. Saw some bluegill in here that were decent size. But I don't know if there's any ones in here that are as big as the other pond. Got him. He swallowed it, didn't he? If he swallowed it, that's gonna end the video. Come on. Yeah, that thing gone. Oh, wait. Yeah, this guy might be a goner, but he definitely... Yeah, he ain't doing too hot. Yeah, that's uh, kind of his gill on there. Oh, rip to that guy. He kind of brought it upon himself. I didn't mean for that to happen, but he swallowed it. I think that's the fifth or sixth bluegill. I'm gonna try and catch one more decent sized one in here and then call it. Oh, there's one. Looks like the crawdads are already going after that bluegill. They know he's toast. Can't really see where that school went because the sun's hitting the water, even though I have sunglasses on. Kind of hard, hard to tell, but I'm gonna cast by this outer edge and I'll probably get bit here shortly. Well, there's one. So that's where they all are. They're all out where I caught that first one, I believe. Oh, dude, did you see that? Oh my gosh. Wait, did I even look at this? Oh my gosh, dude. That's literally like the smallest bluegill I've ever caught. And I think, it almost looks like I snagged him. Well, not only that, then he jumped like six feet out of the water. Pretty little guy though. That guy's gonna live, unlike the other guy. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to go down there, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. I know we didn't catch the most fish or the biggest fish, but we did find a new species that lives in that pond. And we did actually catch a pretty decent size one, a couple of them actually. So that was a lot of work put into that video, two weeks. We didn't catch anything the first time, had to go buy worms and come back two weeks later in order to catch fish. So obviously fishing isn't always about catching the most fish or the biggest fish, but you take successes when you can have them. And obviously we didn't get skunked. So we ended up finishing off a video and we got revenge on the pond. We also found that one middle pond that had that dock and that 
big fish that I caught, the bigger one. That one I hadn't even discovered before, so that was cool. Overall, out of all the times I've fished there, I usually don't catch fish, but that was the only time I caught bluegill. Anyways, let me know what kind of content you guys want to see in the future. Please, any ideas, I'll take anything. Uh, and stay tuned for all these next videos that are going to come up, all these adventures. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. <laughs> Thank you.